You're not gonna dig a hole out of the cage. Oh. Hey guys, it's gonna be pretty echoey in here cause there's a lot of wood floors. Um, I wanted to do this video as kind of like the start to ferret content. I know that you guys have been asking for it. So I wanted to do my morning ferret routine with you guys and show you what it's all about and show you a little bit into, share a little bit of a day in the life owning ferrets. Ferrets I find to be pretty expensive in the sense that vet bills can really add up. Um, and like if you have any animals, you should always have a credit card with space on it for emergencies and things like that. When Pickles, one of my ferrets who recently passed away, went to the vet, um, he was there for 15 minutes before he passed away and it cost me $650. Also their food is expensive. Their bags of food are expensive and they eat a lot. Um, their cages are expensive. Keeping them stimulated is expensive. Their litter is expensive. Um, I'll show you guys what I use. And if you live kind of near a country area, you probably get this um, and it's way cheaper. I used to pay $18 a bag for my litter. Hey Leo. And now I pay like $7. Um, owning ferrets is a very big responsibility. They are not like a guinea pig or rabbits are hard. Rabbits I feel like are, are, are pretty high maintenance as well. I would say that ferrets are even more high maintenance than rabbits. You hear them in the background? This is what you're gonna deal with when you open the cages to clean anything. So you better have a room or a space that they can go and run around and play while you're cleaning their cage because they will crawl all over your head. A lot of people will say, oh, my, my child wants a ferret. And I do not recommend ferrets for kids unless you are willing to do this work that I'm gonna show you today every single day. I've rescued all of these ferrets. One was just an adoption and, oh, so it's about to poop. <laughs> One thing I get asked about a lot too is smell. The thing that smells the worst for ferrets, um, all ferrets that you're gonna get for the most part, as far as I know, are unscent or descented. Not unscented, like lotion or something. <laughs> they, their poop. Their poop is so rank. It is so gross. It's like diarrhea. And they pee and poop usually kind of at the same time. I've seen some pee and no poop, but they poop a lot. They're eating machines. And so the poop is what you have to keep up with the most. And ferrets don't always decide that they want to poop in the litter box. Sometimes they poop in the corner all over their fleece that you paid so much money for. Fleece liners are also quite expensive and they'll shit outside of the bars. And it is, you got to get the toothbrush out and sit down there and clean the poop out. And it is pretty gross. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you my daily routine and exactly what I would suggest getting and having um, if you're gonna have ferrets. I have four ferrets now. I have three males and one female. I had five, like I said, which was a lot of work, but even so, four is a lot of work and a lot of, it's a, it's a big time commitment. Also wanted to touch on, um, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a few people here and there have said, hey, you have your ferrets in the same room as your rabbits and a lot of times in the wild, ferrets hunt rabbits so doesn't that stress them out I pay attention closely to my animals and like how they're feeling and their body language and just their overall attitude and their you know their their um, uh, I want to say di not diet but like if they eat or if they don't eat so my rabbits are actually not terrified of these ferrets at all these ferrets won't even eat an egg that's how much they only like their kibble they don't even hardly eat it they i've tried raw with them raw diets they don't care for it they don't like it they're not hunters <laughs> these these rabbits these not to say that they could never but they're so domesticated they could give two shits about there being rabbits here they're interested in them because they're like what is that but they just want to play so um, I'll show you, I kind of let them run around in this room. And the only thing I like to watch out for is they do climb up the side and scale the rabbit enclosure and try and get inside to play. But I always catch them before they get in there because I'm in this room. So I close the door and we'll do that now. So I close this door and then I open the cage so that they can come out and the rabbits will just be eating their hay right next to them and staring at them and not care one way or the other that they're around. Now, if my rabbits were totally freaked out by this, which some very well possibly could be because rabbits are prey animals, right? So I, you just need to pay attention to your animals. And unfortunately, I don't have a big enough house where I could have my rabbits in a separate area. If I had to do that, I would, I would 
I would probably have to give up my filming space and figure it out, but it's not an issue for me. Um, it works out fine. You just need to pay attention to your animal. And if that's not a good situation for them and they're not eating, like that's something to take into consideration. But my rabbits don't care. Like they literally will be eating hay and like sniffing through the fence, like trying to like figure out like how they can get over to play with them too. So let's go ahead and get started. I've closed the door and <laughs> Oso is so cute over here. <laughs> Show you guys. That's a Oso. What are you doing, little baby? Hi. Hi. You're so cute. You're so cute. They're like, hi, we want out now. Are you guys just so cute? These are my three males. Oso, Barkley, and Steve. I don't know where Ducky is, they're Stucky. So as you can see, this is where my rabbit enclosure is. And this is what they like to try and climb up and they'll go back here. And Penny really doesn't care. She doesn't care, Olive doesn't care. They're, they're just eating peacefully, typically when the ferrets are running around. We will let the ferrets out so I can show you. And Barkley is always gonna try and jump back in the cage while I'm cleaning it. So the reason I take them out of the cage is because like I said, they pretty much will not leave you alone. Huh, you don't leave me alone when I try and clean, huh? Mwah. Uh, they will not leave you alone. They'll be jumping and crawling all over you. Um, while you're trying to clean. I'm gonna leave her in there for a sec because she's eating. As you can see, I have three litter boxes in here. This one um, got cut a little too low, so it does really make a mess. This is litter that breaks down, so I take all of that off and I have attached these here. Are you guys playing? <laughs> um, and I'll clean these litter boxes out uh, basically scrub them and bleach them like once a month or so or as needed. You can see how disgusting all this gets. This is uh, one day. So this was done yesterday morning and this is what it looks like already. Down here, I have another litter box and it is just incredible how much they poop. Sometimes I even clean this twice a day, but yesterday I had a very big day. Hi, what are you doing? What are you doing, you little psycho? What's going on, girl? We're scaling down, sweetie. Ferrets go through tons of water. This is almost empty. So I try and refill these when it hits about half, but it's literally gone so fast. So I have two food bowls. I've got this one and then this one, and they eat so much food. Like <laughs> it disappears real quick. And then this is the last litter box I have and you can see how full it is. It just, and this one got cut too low as well. So it's very messy. Um, you can also see that the other day they pooped back in the corner. A lot of times that'll go outside the bars and onto your wall. So that's a fun one. Um, you can zip tie different things like a bed in place to try and keep them from doing that. But a lot of times if their litter boxes get too full, they're going to be pooping in other corners because they don't want to walk in their own poop. I try and take these off and wash them about once a week and I'll do it more if necessary, but they do really destroy these. These are expensive. Uh, these are really nicely made. These are from Pet Revolution on Etsy. Um, I really like their uh, cage liners, but they do get expensive and I need to actually get some more for up here. Are you ready to come play? And I attach these two Critter Nation cages together. I think you can get these on Amazon for like, like this is one. I think you can get this for like 250. And then I just took out that middle panel um, on the top so they can get around. And then they do this a lot while you're trying to clean because they just want to hang out with you. <laughs> the first thing I do is take my bucket that I put a bag inside of and I will usually put this down here. I'll do that so it's out of the way. And I use a cat scoop and I just carefully empty this and I do this until it is clean. Next, I use this. This is the Shark Cordless and it has a bunch of different attachments. I really like this one for the um, fleece things, the little carpets, and then the fleece liners. Then 
Then I switched the attachment to this one that's easier to kind of get all this stuff up. Also, um, when the liners in here are changed, I'll remove these and spray them with a bleach and water mixture and wipe them down really good as well as all of the bars. Next is litter. What are you guys doing? So what I get is usually for horses and this specific one looks like this. It like breaks down. It basically is little chunks like that and they break down as you saw in the litter box. I use these for the rabbits and for the ferrets because it is the cheapest. This 40 pound bag is $7 and this one specifically is called Green Tree. It's bedding and um, let's see if this does anything. It's pine pellets. So um, these are great. They've worked really well for me. I've used them for years and the ferrets like it, the rabbits like it. mention that these are definitely due for a clean. Um, this is kind of what they look like when I would pull them out and clean them. And it's really dark in here. It's kind of looking worse than it is. But if you keep ferrets, you know that that's pretty normal. Um, but when it starts to look like this, this is um, about the week that I would pull these out and give them a really good deep clean. And I do spot clean here and there. Um, like I'll wipe this off today and do a little bit of that as well. But that stuff is really hard to get off without soaking. So it's good to get it when it's wet. Now it's time for food. I keep the ferret food in one of these and I'll pop this off and fill with this. And just to give you an idea of what I feed my ferrets, I feed them uh, Y-Song Ferret Epigen 90. I get this from Chewy.com and I think this bag is $18. So it's pretty expensive. I think I go through like a bag a month maybe, but it really just depends on how many ferrets you have. First playtime is over, cage is clean. I also refilled the waters, so those are good to go. They are snacking and drinking as they typically do. There's some poop in this room that I gotta clean up. And the floors are always a mess. So that's what I'm gonna do next. You guys know that there's more food down here too, right? Or <laughs> Also to give you an idea of waste, this is two days worth of litter. And that is a five pound bucket from Home Depot. And this is almost like I should have taken this out sooner. It's so full. Granted, this has some rabbit stuff in it too. Nita also wanted to come see me. Are you just the cutest? We say hi to everybody. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? I also almost forgot that the ferrets and the rabbits have their very own TV. So I will usually put on some different movies and things like that for them to watch throughout the day. What do you guys want to watch today? Pete's Dragon? No? Little Mermaid? iCarly? No. How about Rango again? Yay! So that's basically my morning routine with the ferrets. It does change um, every morning depending on how much of a mess they make and if I need to deep clean and do the litter boxes and things like that. They're a lot of work. They also require a lot of time out of their cage. They're very active. They love to run around and play and get a bunch of energy out. Hi, Duck Duck. Their nails grow extremely fast and always need to be clipped. Um, I just did theirs when Nick was in town, so that worked out really well. I also wanna make sure these are closed. I have had experiences where it wasn't all the way closed like this one, here it snap into place. And then you have a ferret running around your house. Um, I'd love to hear any other ideas you guys have for ferret content and kind of like what you'd like to see on the ferrets. Um, I also like to redecorate their cage probably like once a month, if not more than that, and put new fun things in there for them. Trying to find stimulating things and toys for ferrets is a difficult one because they're all so different and they all just like completely different things. 
Um, I've had parrot, ferrets in the past that loved like makeup sponges and socks and these ferrets don't steal or hide anything. Um, Barkley is the only one that tries to steal random stuff like a slipper or something when he's downstairs, but the other ones don't hide anything or care about any like thing. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the ferrets. Bye guys.